Hi guys, today we're going to talk about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. We're going to talk about Prince Harry because people are speculating as to whether he will be back to the UK or not in on time for Christmas. So recently there have been many articles regarding that with people saying that he'll be back because he doesn't want to pay taxes in the US and because he's passed the six months or 183 days deadline time limit, he has to come back. Now there's a new twist in the whole shenanigans of uh, Harry coming to the UK or not coming to the UK. Now the tabloids are saying that he's not coming back. He will spend Christmas in the US and will come back after Christmas for Meghan Markle court case. And they say that the Queen is disappointed in, in Prince Harry. Now, first of all, how do we know that the Queen is disappointed? Did she send like a memo to the tabloids? Who said she was disappointed? As far as I know, we've always been told that the Queen goes by never explain, never complain. And how come we know that she's uh, disappointed. And first of all, we are, the UK is under lockdown. So I don't see how he would be able to come to the UK. There's a law that says that there shouldn't be more than six people at a time in a family together in one room. So how come he would be able to see the Queen then if she wants to spend that time with uh, Prince Philip, Prince William, and Prince Charles. So this really doesn't make sense. So we expect Prince Harry to come back to the UK and to stay alone in Frogmore Cottage just because the Queen wants him back, even if it means that she's not going to see him. That's very selfish. The funny thing is people do believe those uh, fake news, those uh, stupid news about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. They don't use their brain. They don't use their brain to realize that there's a pandemic. Even if he comes, he's not going to be able to spend Christmas with the Queen because there shouldn't be any more than six people at the same time, at the same place during celebrations. And that's the rules that's going to be there until the end of the COVID situation in England. But hey the trolls and the haters don't mind they don't care if it's fake news or news or no news at all they just want to hate they just want to spew their venom at megan or prince harry and obviously obviously Megan is the culprit because she's uh, holding Prince Harry hostage in the US and she doesn't want him to, to go back to his family. That's so plain silly. I don't even know what to say. When I read that, I was like, really? People do believe all these fake news? It's so ridiculously fake that even a baby could sense that. But yet, there are trolls out there who don't want to think. They don't think. They don't want to use their brain. They're just hating hating, hating on Megan, and it's always Megan's fault. If Harry doesn't come back for Christmas because he decided so, because he decided that the, the best thing would be to stay in the US with baby Archie and uh, Megan so they can spend their first Christmas with uh, Doria in her motherland, which is Los Angeles. Hope you liked the video. Feel free to click on like if it's the case. Subscribe for more videos and click on the notification bell to be notified when I post a new video. Thank you.